Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another smart contract hacking tutorial. So you want to learn how to hack smart contracts because smart contract hacking has so many opportunities for professional. As you know, blockchain applications, decentralized applications are built with smart contracts behind the scene. These smart contracts hold millions and multi-millions dollars of money and we have malicious actors that are trying to exploit these decentralized applications and smart contracts in order to steal money from those smart contracts and due to the nature of the blockchain and EVM once you steal money from a decentralized application from a smart contract this money can never be return it's being stolen forever it's not like a bank account or a bank transaction that you can revert the database the blockchain database cannot be reverted we cannot go back in time so one hack happens it's catastrophe and we have millions and billions of dollars being stolen from smart contracts that's why blockchain companies are willing to pay a lot of money to security professionals, to white hat hackers that will find those vulnerabilities in the smart contracts before the malicious hacker. And this is what's called white hat hacker. In today's video, you will learn what is white hat smart contract hacking, how it works and how you can learn to eventually become white hat hacker and enjoy all those benefits and all this amazing industry. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get to learning to hack smart contracts, first let's understand what is smart contract hacking. If you use crypto or if you didn't use it, doesn't matter, all the crypto apps, the lending protocols, the exchanges are all based on smart contracts. These are example, for example, these are two examples of Uniswap smart contract. This is the contract representation on a website called Etherscan that shows you the contract. And as you can see, these are transactions that are being sent all the time by normal legitimate users to the smart contract. It's Uniswap, so probably these transactions are to swap tokens or add or remove liquidity from Uniswap protocol. Now, these are legitimate transactions. The thing is that we have hackers, black at malicious, with malicious intentions hackers that are looking and analyzing these smart contracts in and trying to find ways to send malicious transactions, malicious inputs to the smart contract in order to make it behave in an unintended way. If you think about it, the smart contract developer, the Uniswap developer, when he wrote the code, maybe he didn't think of all the cases that the contract can be triggered. Maybe there are some transactions where you can send to the smart contract to trigger some kind of functionality with some kind of particular input that will lead to disaster. Disaster could be stealing money from the Uniswap protocol, maybe stealing money from other users, maybe, maybe creating some kind of denial of service, DOS attack, and making sure that no one will be able to use the smart contract and and the funds will be frozen forever. This is the art of smart contract hacking. Instead of learning how to build smart contract, we need to adapt the mindset of how to break the smart contract, exploit them, and do malicious things and create unintended behavior that the developer did not think in advance. Becoming a smart contract hacker requires a lot of creativity and thinking outside of the box. We need to adopt the malicious attacker black hat mindset. Now, I don't want you to become a black hat hackers. I want you to be a white hat hackers. White hat hackers are hackers that hack on the purpose of securing the protocol, of helping the protocol and the contract to be safe. They are doing so by finding bugs and doing joining bug bounties programs. So you can find bugs in smart contract 
report them on platforms like Immunify and get rewarded. You can also do something called smart contract auditing, which means that before the contract is being deployed on the main blockchain, you look at it, you search for the vulnerabilities, and then you create a report with all the vulnerabilities that you found and how to fix them, and you give it to the protocol team. This is called white hat and by doing so, you're helping the Web3 ecosystem to get better, to get more secure. You're preventing hacks. You're preventing people from stealing other people's money. And on the same time, you get rewarded. And you don't just get rewarded, you get rewarded big time. Since the risk and the capital that at stake is very high and a lot of money, then protocols are willing to pay and invest a lot of money in the security of their system. And you're gonna be the one who gets those rewards. So how do you learn smart contract hacking? How do you become a smart contract hacker? The first prerequisite is to understand how blockchains work, how the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine works. This is the basics, this is the fundamental, because you cannot hack a system if you do not understand how it works. There are plenty of resources where you can utilize from the Ethereum official website, Ethereum org or plenty of YouTube videos about what is the blockchain and what is the EVM. Plenty of articles, resources where you can utilize and learn the foundation, the basics. And once you understand how the system works, you need to learn how the programming language works. What is Solidity? Solidity is the programming language that stands behind all these smart contracts. You need to understand how to read Solidity code and how to write Solidity code. Before you adopt the attacker mindset and think how to break the system, you need to learn how the system looks like and how to build the system. You need to get into the developer's shoes and see how the world looks like from their perspective, from their point of view. And once you master Solidity development and you can look at Solidity code and understand what the smart contract does, this is the interesting part. This is where you start learning how to adopt the attacker mindset, how to think outside of the box, how to be creative, how to exploit and break the system for your own benefit. Obviously, you're gonna do it responsible manner in a white hat style, and you're gonna do it to protect the protocols and not to harm them, because this is completely illegal and unethical. This is not something that we teach here in this channel or in general. So when you adopt the attacker mindset, you need always to think, how do I break this functionality? How can I break this function? How can I send input to the smart contract that the developer did not think of? How can I interact with the contract in a different way that the developer thought. Maybe I can interact with multiple contracts at the same time. Maybe I will have to deploy my own malicious contract to exploit the vulnerable one. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, how do you learn that? How do you learn how to think like an attacker and how smart contract vulnerabilities look like? And how do you actually practice it with your own hands in order to learn it better? So how do you learn to think like a hacker? to exploit smart contracts and hack them. There are plenty of ways and resources and paths you can utilize and take in order to learn smart contract hacking. Now, this is my favorite way, the shortcut, the short way, the practical way, and the comprehensive way that's gonna save you time and effort. The best way would be to get the smart contract hacking course. This is a practical, comprehensive course that should get you from beginner to intermediate level without experience in hacking at all. You do need some experience in blockchain knowledge and solidity development, but once you have this foundation, you can take up this course and learn so much about smart contract hacking. This is very practical course, so every attack that you are going to learn, you're gonna practice it. You're gonna have your own lab, your own environment. And as you can see, this is the core syllabus. So for every chapter, we have exercises where you take them and you practice what you learn. So you don't just learn the concept, the theoretical concept, but you learn by doing. You are creating, you're basically solving exercises and hacking smart contracts on your own 
machine. Another advantage of taking the smart contract hacking course is that you are also getting access to an exclusive community together with all the students that are taking the course with you. So you all gonna share the same path, the same journey, and it's very supportive and high quality community where you can ask questions and get help for exercises or just get answers for technical questions or any other questions that you might have in your journey becoming a smart contract hacker. So it's a community that everyone helps to each other and we evolve together. Now, another huge advantage of the smart contract hacking course is that upon completion of the course and finishing the final test, you're gonna get a certificate. This certificate, it's an official smart contract hacker certificate that's gonna help you so much while you're trying to hunt a smart contract hacker and auditor job. You can also showcase your skill in social media. Maybe if you want to become a private auditor or entrepreneur, it can help you also reach to clients and get clients and show your skills and basically your certificate. Now, you don't have to take this kind of paid path. This is a shortcut. This is a path, a different path, an easier one, a more organized one with some benefits like community, like certificates, but it's not obligatory. You can also learn from free resources. You have plenty of YouTube videos, plenty of Medium articles, plenty of Twitter accounts where you can follow and learn from their tweets and their threads. You have a lot of free GitHub re repository where you can learn smart contract hacking techniques and learn also previous hacks that happened to different DeFi protocol and decentralized applications. So you can just search yourself and find so many free resources to learn about smart contract hacking. With that said, if you want the shortcut, if you want the organized practical with a lot of exercises path, then you should consider take the smart contract hacking course. Now that you learn how to hack smart contracts and how to adopt the attacker mindset, either if it's using free resources or completing the smart contract hacking course, you can take your skills into test and practice even more. How you do it, you complete CTF challenges. Capture the flag. These challenges are smart contracts, vulnerable smart contracts, where you can try to hack and see if you can actually hack them to gain the objective. The objective could be stealing money from the contract, creating some kind of denial of service attack, and other forms of attacks. One of the most common and best challenges is the Eternaut by Open Zeppelin. Eternaut consists of 29 different challenges where you can practice your smart contract hacking skills and try to hack and pass all these awesome challenges. So as you can see, we have actually 30 challenges, not 29. So every challenge is a complete different smart contract that you need to hack and exploit. You can take the Ethernet directly in the Open Zeppelin website, or you can clone it to your own computer using the Hardet framework or Foundry framework and then solve the exercises on your own machine. Another awesome CTF capture the flag, a bit, a bit more realistic is then vulnerable DeFi. It's a bit more realistic and advanced than Ethernet because this is basically gonna be built like real DeFi applications, real DeFi protocols that are deployed on the main blockchain on the mainnet. And as you can see, you have 15 challenges that you can try to break smart contracts to hack and enhance your smart contract hacking skills. Now, if you get stuck on one of these exercises, I'm going to create a complete video walkthrough of how I solve together with you every single challenge, either if it's unstoppable, naive receiver, or the more advanced one like Puppet, Free Rider, or Backdoor. So if you want to get these kind of videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification button. Another beautiful way to test your skills and put them into a real life experience is try to participate in auditing contests. Auditing contents are open source public contents where you can participate and try to find vulnerabilities in contracts, smart contracts that didn't deploy yet in the main blockchain. So the way it works is that Web3 projects come to Code Arena and tell them, hey guys, I want this code to be audited. Then they put some kind of amount of money, it's called the award pot, it's rewards that will be distributed to all the hackers that were able to find these bugs. So you can go to the audit sections in Code Arena and just choose one of the active contests 
test, one of the active audit, and try to find vulnerabilities in the smart contracts, report them. The cool thing is that you both practice your skills and you might also get reward. There are people who are making thousands of dollars just by participating in auditing contents and reporting vulnerabilities in Coderina or Sherlock. Sherlock is the other alternative. It's a competitor to Coderina and you can go to Sherlock to a uh, join audit contests. And here you can see active contests similar to Coderina where you can participate, take a look at the code base and report vulnerabilities. Now I'm gonna create other video tutorials about Coderina and Sherlock. So make sure to subscribe to the channel in order to learn how to participate and how to get better in auditing contests. Another cool way to put your skills into tests is participate in bug bounties. Immunify is the main website that aggregates bug bounties. The difference from auditing contests to bug bounties is that bug bounties are protocols that are already deployed in the blockchain. It's contracts that are live that usually hold big amounts of money. Okay, and as you can see, here is the table of the active bug bounties programs and the rewards are insane. You can see $400,000, $250,000, so even millions of dollars. This is the max bounty. For example, if you are able to find a vulnerability, critical vulnerability in ZK Sync era, you are eligible to receive up to $1.1 million for one critical bug. So you can practice your skills and earn money at the same time. Now, this is more challenging. I do not recommend you to start and try bug hunting when first go through the basics like CTFs, like auditing contents. And only once you get better, when you feel more confident, you can try to search for some bugs in bug bounty programs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will be more than happy to hear what is your opinion, what is your tips and recommendation of how to become a smart contract, what kind of resources you utilize and what are your goals to in the future, in the near future or the far future. Feel free to share in the comments below. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.